Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can format word tables to clarify the data and enhance the appearance of the information. Word has many pre-created table formats you can apply to your tables. In addition to these table styles, you can also select individual elements of the table and then apply your own custom formatting if desired. To apply a table style, start by clicking into the table to format. Next, click the Design tab in the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. The styles that you can apply to the table are shown in a list within the Table Styles button group. Use the arrow buttons to the right to scroll through the list and then click on a style to apply it to the table. You can click the More button in the lower right corner of the list to fully expand the list if needed. You can modify the styles shown in the Table Styles list by using the check boxes in the Table Style Options button group to decide what elements of the table styles you wish to apply or remove. For example, to apply a total row to your table, you can check that checkbox in the Table Style Options button group. You can also make your own custom formatting modifications to a selected table element, such as a selected cell, column, or row. To do this, select the table element to format. To change the shading or fill color of the selected cell or cells, use the Shading drop-down button to the right of the listing of table styles in the Table Styles button group to choose a background color. To display a listing of the borders that can be applied or removed from the selected cells, click the Borders drop-down button that appears in the Borders button group of the Design tab in the Table Tools Contextual tab. In this button's drop-down menu, any border buttons that are highlighted are being shown in the selected cells. Border buttons that are not highlighted are not displayed. Click on any border button shown in the drop-down menu to toggle its visibility on or off. In Word, you can click the Border Styles drop-down button within the Borders button group to apply a preset style to the selected cell's borders by first clicking on the style to apply in the drop-down menu that appears. Then select the borders to which you want to apply the selected style by clicking the Borders drop-down button within the same button group and then clicking on the names of the border buttons to which you want to apply the newly selected style within the drop-down menu that appears. If you choose to not apply borders after selecting a border style, note that you can click the Border Painter button to turn it off or simply press the Escape key on your keyboard. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.